Yeah, and especially in a workplace like that, surrounded by power tools. Oh, hey, co copper, ah, copper. Well, yeah, it's like she uh, she did point out at one point. They said they were worried about you know employees. Uh, they actually had to go to the trouble of telling people employees shouldn't bring guns in. I'm I, concerned that that was needed to be said. But you know, she she was sitting there talking and or at the meeting where they were explaining you know various things. And she held up her hand and went, why would I bring a gun in when we <laughs> sell everything needed to make explosives? Jeez. Oh, that is a good up. point, Angel. That is a good point. But they just stared at her, in one of, and she had one of those, oh, I said something that, that scared the normal people. Oh, boy. But, yeah, that was just funny. And I'm pretty sure you can construct some sort of gun with the stuff you find at Home Depot. Oh, I can honestly construct a gun out of the stuff or for under five dollars and have it be reusable which yeah, is why get, get some pvc pipe some wood uh, oh god like no i can pole. actually build a gun out of stuff you can get at home depot some that guy, could you be know those reusable. Uh, you know those um like paper hornets you ever heard of those like they're yeah. uh yeah um some guy on youtube made those lethal mm -hmm. and uh what he did was like first of all he made a launcher for it oh no he didn't make a launcher for it but uh, he made, sorry, it, w it wasn't a Hornet, it was a paper airplane. Yeah. But, uh, he took the paper airplane, and um, I don't remember what he did exactly. I think he added, like, he took off, like, the tip of an arrow from, like, a metal bow and arrow thing. Mm -hmm. Attached it to the front seamlessly, and then he, like, changed the aerodynamics of the way he folded the papers. That when he threw it, it stabbed into a tree trunk and pretty much did not move for the rest of the day. Because they went back out and checked it, it was still there. And weaponized paper airplanes seem kind of horrifying, especially from, you know, the practicality of them. You could just drop yeah. them from a tall building and kind of ruin somebody's day. Yeah, that's the thing, though. People don't take into account it is extremely easy to build weapons out of anything. I, I had a friend who used to work for Lockheed Martin who taught me how to build a bunch of various frightening things. Okay. The trick, you know, Lockheed Martin, if you didn't know, actually manufactures... Pretty much any weapon that um, the U.S. government uses, well, like, or at least designs them. But the trick is, as I have tried to explain to people, I don't do that. Right? Well, why? <laughs> because I don't like prison. That's a good reason. Right. Like, literally, the thing they don't tell you, the only part of a gun that is actually legal to manufacture is the receiver. Like the the thing that actually you know holds the clip and loads the bullets, and that is the only thing that is actually illegal to manufacture. Illegal? Or illegal to manufacture? Okay. Though you can very technically Out make of all the one parts, and that, I mean, <laughs> then go get the government to uh, put a stamp on it saying that you legally own, or that it's Ooh. legal for you to own it. Wait, is this diamond? I can't. I'm pretty sure this is diamond. It's been so long since I've played Minecraft that I really have no idea. But, yeah, I, I mean, iron. well, I have iron, so maybe if I can get down, or I have uh, a pick that'll get it, so maybe if I get down there. Yeah, it's easy. It's just like a really annoying staircase. And then spiders, and... Um, well, so far there haven't been any monsters down here. And I see well, that as a win in our book. A there's one on the book. roof of our house. All right. Well, as long as it's not in here with me. All right, hold on. I told I you the story about my friend when he uh, plugged it. Like, he lives in the really old building I on have campus. have a pick, by the way. Of an iron pick? Yeah. All right, follow me. Oh, hold on. It's How do like I right down it? there. Yeah. I'll get it. Here. Yeah. Oh, God. No. It's behind you. I but actually I, found diamonds, so I've got a diamond pick. Oh, well, that works. But I, I told you the story about the guy, on, or not the guy, my friends. Uh, the same one who got stabbed in the ass. He was uh, moving into his uh, really old dorm room, and he went to go plug in his, uh, his fridge, and he plugged it in. There was a spark, and I'm pretty sure I told you this. Spiders just started coming out of the socket like... You did mention this nightmare. I did mention... Yeah, God, it was horrifying. Oh, no, it's aluminum. Ah. That's different. Looks exactly like diamonds. Well, oh, hey. I'm finding a lot of iron down here. This is good. Hopefully I'll find some... I don't know. I have no idea what we actually need, so I guess we should oh, just... Oh, yeah, I have no idea either. ...spend uh, some of this time gathering everything... That's actually not a bad idea. Just gather everything we can get this session and then look up recipes and what we need to do between them. I'm sure we'll have a surplus by then. Yeah, and we can also build ourselves maybe a little better shelter. Bigger Something that is in the shed. Also get some yeah. beds. Yeah, we definitely need beds. But, um, 
I, I, I live in a house, or a very old house with kind of frightening wiring sometimes. Uh, yep. So, so yeah, because it was built like 1905. Oh, shit, that is an old house. Uh, 1905, really? That's the oldest record we've been able to find regarding when it was constructed. I've actually that is had a bunch awesome. of people. I've actually had a bunch of people tell me, oh, no, it was, you know, built much later than that. You can tell because blah, blah, blah. I'm like, no, the house belonged to a very rich doctor when it was built. I can Which bet you any amount of money that somebody probably died in that house within the, like, 100 years that it's existed. Oh, we know they did, actually. The people <laughs> who lived in it before uh, my parents, actually, was an old lady who died in it. And uh, oh, my bedroom actually was... The bedroom, uh, oh, well, or was the bedroom of uh, her son, who died in a horrifying motorcycle crash, like on his way to get parts to work on building the bedroom. Uh, I guess that's all part of the cold breeze in that room, or in that. Well, house. actually, part of the cold breeze is it being in the attic and there being horrible drafts because it's a you know a hundred some odd year old house. That's where all the people die, according to H.P. Lovecraft. Yeah, obviously. As the cold breeze is, you know, terrifying. I mean, when you think about it, the cold breeze could be a figure, like, or like, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Uh, it sounds like one word, and it's used to describe the, in, an idiom. On a an idiom. Oh, okay. No, an idiom. Like, it could be a pretty good idiom for, like, death or something. Yeah. The cold breeze of the Grim Reaper breathed down my neck as the AC unit fell on my face. I've had air conditioners fall on me. They're pretty heavy, and they kind of suck when you get hit by one. Yeah, especially because it was one that was old to begin with, which meant it weighed like 85 pounds. And There's it probably like unnecessary blocks of lead in there for no real reason yeah. to make it heavy. It's like lead and uranium. You know, <laughs> like pure yellow cake uranium. Yeah, it's just in there. It doesn't actually do anything. It was just built during the 70s, so they Bags just of crammed cocaine. it in there. Yeah. <laughs> Pixie dust. <laughs> oh, but I, uh... I had it land, like, on my shoulder, and that was one of those moments of, oh. is anything broken? Do I still no? have an arm? I can't feel it. Yeah, I was like, nothing's broken? I'm surprised. I would be surprised, too, because um, I, I remember me and my fat-ass self in high school, uh, I was trying to do sit-ups vigorously in, like, the time span given, it like, a minute to do, like, as many push-ups as possible. I hear bats. I'm pretty near a cave. But um, I ended up pulling a muscle pretty bad in my neck and ended up not being able to lie down for, like, a week. And if I did end up accidentally lying down, like if I slunk too far down on like a couch or something, I needed like three people to help lift me up without moving my back. Because you couldn't the push muscle yourself was up. like a snapped el like elastic and it was horrifying. Mm -hmm. It hurt. <laughs> but it wasn't like an AC falling on my face. Or, I actually um, had a friend who um, had a muscle. There's, I guess it's a ligament or a really long tendon that goes from almost your big toe all the way up to the back of your calf. That's a long tendon. And big toe, and that's all one tendon. Yeah, and it's I don't or I, somewhere like in your foot, all the way up to the back of your calf. Weird. And he oh, was scribble. out just goofing around. Uh, well, actually, not goofing around, stealing stuff from train cars. Oh well. Uh, because, you know, he was basically homeless at the time and trying to survive. Yeah. And, well, actually not homeless. Uh, he was, did have a home, but not food, so, you know. So, you know, you, you gotta do what you gotta do. Yeah, and, uh, he accidentally stepped on a railroad spike. Oh, shit, that sounds horrible. It cut that tendon instantly. Ow. And he went to the hospital because apparently he actually had insurance, even though he didn't have food. Well, that's... Because, yeah. you know, America... America. You, you have that choice. You have one or the other, not both. She's but um, the doctor's like, yeah, we, we actually can't fix it. All right, what do you mean? Can't you just stretch it back out? And I, no, you don't understand. When it's extended, it's like a foot and a half long to two feet long. It's not going back normal. When it's contracted, it's like six inches. Whoa. And uh, so, yeah, you're pretty much going, like I said, it won't really destroy your ability to walk or anything. You're just not going to be able to bend your foot in certain directions. Uh, like which directions, do you know? Like uh, forward and upward. Um, okay, like it still moves there, right? It's not like, it's like it can do it, but like it just can't well, do it naturally. Yeah, I mean, he, he can still walk just fine. He doesn't even have a limp. It's just that he cannot like move his foot. <laughs> move his foot like when he goes to put on socks he can't you know stick his toes down oh yeah that would be well at least that's the worst of his worries 
Well, it was funny because he was okay. like, uh, he at one point had me trying to teach him martial arts. I'm like, all right, bend your foot. And he's like, I can't do that. <laughs> like, oh, yeah. Oops. I forgot about that. Um, my friend plays soccer, and uh, the you know where the Achilles tendon is, right? In the heel? Yeah. I think that was the Achilles tendon he was talking about. There is a lot of tension there. Mm -hmm. And if that thing snaps, it's like a gunshot. Yeah. So that like his poor guy got his Achilles tendon snapped. He went down first of all like a sack of bricks, but also the pop was heard for like meters they away. Thought he had been shot. Probably. Oh god, it was like the guy like went down. Like holy shit. Yeah. I can imagine it was not a fun experience. See, I always feel bad. I actually have a friend. I uh, I actually found out like recently that I ruined his chances of getting an athletic scholarship. He was an intelligent guy anyway. But but it turns out that I actually did, at one point, fracture his shin while we were playing soccer. Oh. Because I did martial arts, and I, you know, hardened my shins. Kick. So that meant we accidentally collided shins, and it fractured his. That, <laughs> wow. Um, I'm not sure if I should be impressed by that or feel sorry for the guy. I probably mixed her both. Well, say, well, he eventually got an academic scholarship and uh, apparently did very well and has, you know... Some sort of career. I'm not sure what the hell he did. He was smart enough. Oh god! Oh god! Oh shit! What the hell? Creeper? No, I was digging up, and all of a sudden, all this black shit fell on me. I think it's oil. Oh, that's good. We've we struck need black that. gold. Is fun. We're gonna be rich. We need that for rocket fuel. Or we can sell that. it to America. Yeah. And then you or, know. Well, actually, no. Let's not tell America. They're gonna probably invade our Minecraft world yeah, and try to liberate us from our terrorist ways. I was reading a great story today that actually proved that some companies have forethought. Right. Because wait, 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 what's forethought? Oh, yeah, thinking ahead. Oh, I thought it was some sort of actual term for, like, never mind. All right, I know what that yeah, is. But, but uh, like, apparently the U.S. government just finally okayed, like, Pakistan to do, like, a major trade agreement with a weapons manufacturer in Utah. Um, just and a random weapons manufacturer? Or like, like a gun manufacturer. I don't right. know what one particularly or the name or anything. But the company actually, you know, because they were like, all right, now we're going to need you to manufacture blah 100,000 firearms for them. And the company went, no. <laughs> we're like, well, what do you mean? Like, because last time you had us do this, it or well, the last two times you had us do this, it was for Iran and Iraq. Yeah, those are not really the best reasons. Like, we're not gonna give guns to anyone else who stands another chance of deciding that they want us dead. And it's then just... they gave them to Libya. Yeah. <laughs> ah, Libyans. <laughs> They're so nice. Yeah. Well, I found oil. I'm gonna make a bucket and then scoop it up. And then, um, I want to put a torch down, but I'm afraid that I might blow myself up. Yeah, I don't actually know. I'm not know sure if, if this is that intricate, so... Yeah, I don't actually know if that's flammable or not. That could be important knowledge. I guess we could put down a bucket of oil somewhere and test with, like, fire or something. <laughs> Cleansing fire. All right, yeah, well, uh, aluminum seems like it would be useful for something. So I'm just yeah. going to put that in the furnace. That's one of the things that actually bothers me slightly. What? Uh, the flammability of oil? Or? Uh, the aluminum. Oh, what about it? Because, all right, in there's no such thing as aluminum ore. That is true. Yeah, and that's like, kind of like, you find a big block of aluminum ore. Like, no! It's aluminum. No, you don't. And then also, what bothers me is when people pronounce it aluminium. Or aluminium. Well, I don't know I, why. I actually looked into that. I'm because sure it's I supposed was, to be pronounced like that, but I don't know. It feels weird. Both are considered to be acceptable and correct pronunciations. Yeah, I mean, I'm sure it is, or else people wouldn't say it. It's like, um, it's, I, when people say either inventory or inventory, inventory. or inventory, I it's always like, said no. inventory, and yeah. people think that's the weirdest thing. I well, don't know if it is. <laughs> I, uh, it is inventory, and I used to know exactly why, because I'm one of those people that has to look things up if I'm curious about it. Well, yeah, that's a good quality to have. And, um, I, you know, I actually, I used to look up definitions of words because I'm like, okay, you know, I want to know what exactly what this word means. Okay, right. why does it mean that? Because, you know, my parents, much like Angel's parents, would be a, why blah, look it up. 
I mean, it wasn't, you know, hers basically did it because they didn't want to answer it. Mine would do it because, okay, you're curious? Well, look it up and learn. Yeah. And it's better than making it up as you go along. Yeah. I, I get, I, every now and then I'll get into, like, arguments with people because, the you know, I'll say something like, well, that's not true. I'm like, well, I read it. Yeah, but you can find out on the internet it's true. I'm like, yeah, and it says here that this was widely believed as a fact until about six months ago. <laughs> Don't tell me that I'm an idiot for not knowing it when apparently it's been taught this way for 600 years. Yeah, yeah I mean, it, you know, if you have a valid point, you either make the change or you just, you know, I mean, you can, well, actually, you don't have another choice. Just make the change. If it's true, it's true. I mean, that's the thing that most people don't get is that, you know, stuff like that, it's a fact whether you believe in it or not. Yeah. Also, I have oil, and for some reason, it's water. Odd. That's I weird. I went up there, and maybe it was mixed with water, and I just picked the wrong thing. And, All right. Because I went up a... to the top, picked up with the bucket, and it's like, you've got a water bucket. Okay. <laughs> got to figure out how to get out of here now. Also, because... when you splash in the oil, it makes water effect, which is not right. There is... Ah. And I got more water, which I'm pretty sure is not scientifically correct. So, this reminds me, and don't ask me why, of the most horrifying thing I have ever seen, uh... Uh... Or uh, er, seen water. in, uh, ages, and it's on Amazon. Right. Are you aware of what a moil is? I cannot say that I am. And All right. I feel like you're going to tell me anyway. A moil is the person in traditional or er, Hebrew culture who performs circumcisions. Okay. The more you know. And a friend of my brother's found a moil practice doll on eBay. Wow. I did not know that those were practice dolls. Where can there I get are one? Apparently I think practice I know. Dolls. Somebody uh, I'd like to give it to. Yeah, there. That's the sort of thing that you got. I have a friend who I need to give this to. It's like, hey, but, yeah, that's your birthday present. What is this? Well, if you ever want to get into the circumcision business, you can, uh, you know. Yeah, you know. <laughs> have fun with that. Happy birthday. Uh, well, there's a lot of oil. But yeah, that was um, that was just one of those things of Emergency. why does this exist? <laughs> but it was uh. Yeah, it also comes with some sort of or refillable parts, obviously. Refillable because, parts? Well, I did not the, know that there was any liquid involved. Well, uh... Well, okay, what, what the hell is this? I keep picking up water. I'm pretty sure this is not scientifically correct and it's starting to freak me out. Then, do I need some pipes or something? Is there like a specific way to do this? There's a good chance... I don't know, is uh, the 